I'm talking about uh, the uh, algorithm framework for the approximating maximum share allocation of chores. Uh, so our model is that we consider a bunch of individual chores, uh, like household chores. So for the each chore, uh, you can allocate to at most uh, one person, uh, and uh, each uh, person will have an additive valuation of those chores. And our goal is to find the fair allocation uh, uh, among these chores to the agent. Uh, so formally, we have like an agent and a set of chores M, and for each agent I, we have an additive valuation VI. So here we will give a positive uh, valuation. So when you have large value, this means that you dislike this chore more. And uh, uh, allocation is a partition of all those chores. So oh, for, for uh, fairness that uh, there are like two uh, most well-known uh, fairness notions, one is M3 and one is proportional. Uh, for the M3, that each agent will prefer their own allocation to any other agents. So it's like uh, you, you get the least uh, bundle among the all. And for the proportional, like each agent will have like uh, uh, at most uh, the average of the all chores. Uh, the problem is that uh, these two, uh, uh, if we study these two uh, fairness notions, then it may not exist. And even for a very simple case, that's two agents and one chore. Uh, so to, uh, to overcome this kind of difficulty, uh, we try to study the maximum share. So maximum share is like uh, kind of from a cut, cut and choose protocol. So there's a cutter that you cut uh, uh, this, uh, the chores into uh, in bundles. And uh, so you, 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 because you are the cutter, you may like uh, get the worst uh, bundle and you, because you are the last one to choose. And so the cutter will try to like minimize uh, this uh, value. Uh, so oh, oh, mm, uh, here, here, if you look at the formula, it's, uh, it's been max because we use a positive uh, evaluation. Uh, uh, if you define the valuation by the negative, uh, then this uh, formula will, will be the maximum. Uh, and so for, for maximum share allocation, so it's like uh, uh, every agent will get a value less than maximum share. So at maximum. And the approximation uh, version is like, uh, it's time like alpha to, to that. Uh, so here I will give an example for what is the maximum share. Uh, so, uh, for mm, so here we have like uh, three agents and five chores, and uh, the valuation uh, is the list uh, in the table. Uh, so for the first agent, so you, you can divide uh, 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 this like uh, into three bundles. Like so, uh, the fir first two are in one bundle, and the third and fourth are in one bundle, and the last one will be a single bundle. Uh, then. Uh, then you can see the maximum share of uh, this agent is 40 because that the last uh, 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 the, the last chore at the, uh, there must be one bundle like uh, including that uh, the last chore and you cannot be less than 40. And you can do this for all other agents and uh, you will get that so. Oh, the second one is for uh, maximum share is 40 and the third one is 35. Uh, and uh, so you can give an allocation like this. So uh, the first one will get the 35, which is less than 40. And uh, uh, the second one is uh, uh, 35 less than 40. And third one is 30 and less than 35. And this is the uh, maximum share allocation. So previous work that uh, this show uh, the, the maximum share allocation may not exist. And uh, uh, besides that, so the best known result is that uh, a polynomial algorithm for the four over three approximation. So for our, our work that uh, we, we 
uh, we start from a framework which is similar to the first phase decreasing uh, algorithm, and we prove the existence of uh, eleven or nine approximation maximum share, and uh, uh, we also uh, yeah give a very efficient algorithm for the five over four approximation. So uh, here, here we, I will give a little bit uh, technical detail of uh, our work. Uh, so first uh, we, we use the reduction that uh, which is introduced in 2016, that uh, the, the worst instance of uh, maximum share is like uh, identical ordinary preference. So what is identical ordinary preference? Is that, so like you have like five chores, each agent may have different valuation, like uh, maybe someone thinks like cleaning uh, uh, is 100, uh, uh, and another one maybe thinks that is 30 valuation. But uh, no matter what kind of valuation, they think, they think that, okay, the cleaning is like uh, 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 the worst chore among all. Uh, so they have like the same ranking uh, of the all chores, but uh, they, they can have different values. So in the following talk, uh, we will only like uh, think about this kind of instance. So here is our uh, framework. So we first will like sort the, all the chores from heaviest to, to lightest, and each agent will have uh, a threshold. So then we like uh, to query. So like first uh, we query the heaviest chore. So if anyone, uh, will accept this chore. That, that means that if we add this chore into the bundle, then it will not in, uh, like exceed uh, her own like a threshold. So if someone accepts that, okay, then we put it into the bundle, and uh, we uh, uh, we ask uh, the second one. Uh, if uh, no one can accept this chore, uh, then we skip, um, and we ask the third. <coughs> If someone accepts, okay, then we put it into the bundle. So we go over this uh, pro pro process for all the chores from heaviest to lightest. Uh, then we give uh, it to like uh, one can accept the, uh, this, this bundle. So uh, here, here is the result of uh, this framework. So if uh, we input uh, the threshold, uh, 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 of each agent is like 11 or over line maximum share. Then the chores, uh, all the chores will be allocated. This means we will get a proper allocation. So why this is uh, like an existing result is that the, the computation of maximum share is empty hard. So, but, but if we can uh, combine this with uh, like a PTA from job scheduling literature, then we can get like a, uh, 1109 plus epsilon approximation. Uh, and we also have uh, like a low bound for this framework that we cannot uh, get a prove a better uh, approximation ratio than the uh, 20 over 17. Uh, so here is some like a proof idea. So for uh, we find uh, for this framework, then first we can like, uh, uh, like uh, we, we should uh, focus on like one agent, the agent who gets the last bundle. And then we can like get rid of all the small chores. Here, the small chores is like less than the 209 maximum share. And for the large, uh, uh, large chores, then we can view the whole like uh, processing of adding and um, adding into the bundle uh, with like a swapping of uh, 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 um, allocation, which is the original allocation is a maximum share. Then we keep uh, some good properties by the induction. Okay, uh, but uh, 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 well, here I will show that uh, uh, why this cannot prove better than the uh, 20 or 17. So here is an instance, uh, like we have like a one of uh, nine or 17 and uh, nine chores of four or 17. Uh, so for this, this instance, then the, you, you can see that the maximum share is one, and you have a, a, an allocation is least uh, at the uh, bottom. Uh, but if we use our uh, uh, average framework, then when it's less than the 20 or 17, 
then uh, okay, you can see that uh, it doesn't work. You you will have some um, trust cannot allocate. Uh, so uh, another problem with, with framework is that we only prove the existing results. So if we, we, we combine the peters, then for even we want to get the five or four approximation, then it uh, the, the the time is like uh, uh, irrational. So that. The, uh, the natural question is that uh, how, how we can define a kind of efficient polynomial algorithm. So first of all, we, we, we see that uh, for the job scheduling are uh, the special case of the true allocation that is uh, uh, all agents that have uh, identical, uh, identical uh, uh, valuations. Then, then we can like uh, the, uh, the, the, the minimum mixed span is like uh, the maximum share. So for this, then we can use the binary search uh, of the stretch code then to get an 11 or, nine or, uh, mm, uh, 11 or nine approximation. So, but this kind of approach will fail on the general case. So here I, I, I will give an example. So, so you have like a, a troll with a, a 5.1 and a nine trolls with one and two trolls with 1.2. Valuation. So, and all agent share identical uh, uh, valuation. Then this uh, maximum share is seven point five. And so here, uh, the uh, the maximum share, uh, the allocation will is listed on the bottom by our algorithm. If you input the threshold with seven point five, but if in, you increase this to seven point six, and then you will find okay, this doesn't work. You have some uh, trolls unallocated. So here we uh, give us an, an observation that uh, uh, so if you do the binary search, then this is an, uh, like uh, in, uh, if you below the maximum share, then it will return no, and uh, uh, above the eleven or nine, it will return yes, and between them, uh, it will can be like a discontinue something. So then uh, if we do this uh, with general case, then we can find the threshold that uh, will allocate uh, all the trolls, but uh, with different variations, uh, the effective threshold may be increased to some like uh, doesn't work. So to solve this problem, then we like uh, try to find the lower bound uh, by testing algorithm of the maximum share. Uh, then we scale, uh, scaling this, uh, a lower bound, then this is large enough, then we can like uh, make sure that it always written yes. Okay, so then we, with this kind of idea, we get uh, 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 an algorithm for five or four approximation. So last, uh, let me introduce some open problems. So we have like a, a gap like uh, for uh, 11 or nine and uh, 17 or uh, 20 or 17. So that can, can we prove a tight, a tight bound for this uh, framework? And can we like convert the existing result directly to an efficient algorithm? So we show how to like do for the five or four approximation. Is that possible that uh, we can do it for the 11 or nine? And, and uh, our job scheduling is a special case of choice allocation. So it's natural to ask, is that possible? We can apply this framework to other scheduling problems. Okay, thank you. <laughs>